Angeles, Bill Bump. And a soup nurse from New Haven, Connecticut, Nina Kleinberg. And our returning champion, a furniture maker from San Francisco, California, on a total of $6,250, Clarence Creasy. And now, entering the studio is the host of Jeopardy, Art Fleming. And welcome to Jeopardy, America's favorite answering question game, where we give you the answers, and of course, you must come up with a question. Players, welcome to this day's game. Today, one of you will play the Super Jeopardy bonus that starts at $5,000 and increases $2,500 each time a returning champion faces that Super Jeopardy bonus board. Well, Clarence, you've won $6,250 so far. This is your third try for the championship, and if you win today's game, you will be playing for $10,000. That's an additional $10,000 in the Super Jeopardy bonus. Also, as you know, you will start the day's activities by selecting the category and amount. But any one of you may ring when you recognize the answer. Remember, your response must be in the form of a question, and remember the Jeopardy. If you're wrong, the dollar value of that answer, of course, will be deducted from your total score, all right? When you hear this sound, by now we all know it means that the round is over, and only the two high-scoring players who want to play Double Jeopardy for the right to face the Super Jeopardy board. All right, my friends, good luck to you all. Let's play Jeopardy! And the categories are actors and their roles. Starts with cab, Ohio, four-letter words, pennies, and jacks of all trades. Remember, there's a daily double hidden somewhere on that board. Hands on those buzzers, please, but please don't pop those buttons until an answer is exposed. All right, good luck to you all, Clarence. Please start, select a category in a moment. Uh, I'd like to take Ohio for 25. The whole state for 25. The answer is, it's the capital city, Clarence. What is Columbus? Right, good start. Ohio for 50. The answer is, the state's nickname comes from this tree, Clarence. What is the Buckeye? Right again. Ohio for 75. The answer is, Akron is the home of this annual gravity-powered race, Bill. What is a soapbox derby? That is right, sir. Go. Uh, four letter words for 25, please. The answer is, as a noun, a chessman, as a verb, to give as security, Clarence. Uh, what is check? No, sorry, Bill. Uh, what is pawn? Pawn, P-A-W-N, right, sir, go. Uh, four letter words for 50, please. The answer is, it was written 26 years after Reveille, Nina. What's taps? Taps, right. Um, actors in their roles for 25. Everybody's in the plus column. The answer is the surreal TV talk show host, Barth Gimbel, Bill. Um, uh, who is, uh, uh, Martin Mull. Oh, now the judges will accept that? Yes, fine. You got in under the wire. It is Marty Mull. Go. Uh, starts with cab for 25, please. The answer is the last car on a freight train, Clarence. What is caboose? Caboose, it is. Ohio for 100. The answer is, this great lake is located on Ohio's northern border, Clarence. What is Lake Erie? Lake Erie, right, sir. Ohio for 125. Completes the first category. The answer is, this former astronaut became a U.S. Senator from Ohio, Clarence. Who is John Glenn? Right, John Glenn Jr. Quite a man he is and was as an astronaut. You, of course, are in the lead. Select, Clarence. Starts with cab for 50. The answer is... It's the primary ingredient of coleslaw, Bill. What is uh, cabbage? That is right, yes. Uh, starts with cab for 75, please. The answer is, it goes with kit and means the whole thing, Bill. What is kit and caboodle? Kit and caboodle, right, sir, go. Uh, jacks of all trades for 25, please. The answer is, a small leather-covered bludgeon with a flexible handle, Bill. What is a blackjack? Blackjack, right, sir. Jacks of all trades for 50, please. The answer is the profession of a jack tar, Nina. What's a sailor? That's right. It's a British term for uh, sailor. Actors in their roles for 50. The answer is they called him Mr. Tibbs, Nina. Who's Sidney Poitier? That is right. We're going to rest now. We have Nina with 150, Bill with 200, Clarence with 475, and we'll all be back with more of Jeopardy right after this word. Please watch for this. Thank you. Can you get your wash clean, bright, and soft for free? These Purex products save you so much, it's like getting 59 free wash loads a year.
You know how Purex bleach saves. But do you know that Purex Heavy Duty Detergent and Purex Toss and Soft Fabric Softener save you about 19% over the leading brands? Use these Purex products. If you do an average number of wash loads, it's like getting 59 free wash loads a year. Purex products perform and save. Ready for dinner, huh, Charlie? Dogs really go for MPS chunks. While most premium dog foods have just one meaty taste, MPS chunks has a special combination of meaty tastes. MPS chunks dog food, a special combination for a better meaty taste. at those scores because there was a minor error. Our computer hasn't recovered from New Year's Eve yet. We have Nina with 150, Bill with 275, and Clarence with 300. Sorry for the inconvenience, contestants, but those are the scores. And now we talk to you a little bit, and we find out that Clarence, you've won $6,250. This is your third appearance, and that you told us in your very first appearance, if uh, memory serves, that uh, you were a furniture maker. May I ask how you got interested in making furniture? It was uh, rather uh, tragic in one sense thing, is I was at the time working for a publishing company and was out on business and came home and the house had burned down where I lived so I had nothing to uh, sit on or eat off of and uh, I started making some furniture and it's now it's a profession. And now it's your business. That's right. How about that? It takes a lot of courage to do that, sir. Clarence, a pleasure to have you as a champion. You. Welcome. We meet contestant number two, Nina Kleinberg. And Nina, what are you studying now? Well, I'm a student in nur at nursing school, uh, but I'll graduate with a degree in nurse midwifery, so I'll be practicing as a midwife. As a midwife? Why did you decide to uh, study that uh, subject? It's something I've really wanted to do all my life. I started as a volunteer in the hospital, worked in the delivery room, and just decided that's how I was going to live my life. Well, that's great. Nina, a pleasure to talk to you. Welcome. <laughs> midwifery. I thought that was if the person long gone, but not so. All right, we meet now Bill. Fonts, is it? That's right. right. Bill, you work also at a university. May I ask, doing what? Um, I'm a student in clinical psychology. Um, I'm working on a PhD. Where? Um, at USC. USC, all right, fine, sir. It'd be a pleasure to have you come play our game. Welcome, one and all. Let's continue the day's activities. And uh, we have Nina as the last correct questioner. So, young lady, it is up to you to please continue. Remember, there's a daily double hidden somewhere on that board. Go. Actors in their roles for 75. The answer is, he wore all seven faces of Dr. Lowe, Bill. Um, who is an uh, uh, odd couple? <laughs> uh, Tony oh. Randall. All right, you again just made it, Tony Randall. Oh, boy, you're giving me heart failure here with these uh, <laughs> yeah, short me answers. Too. All right, Bill, you are going uh, again. Uh, pennies uh, for 25, please. Pennies for 25, the answer is... This amusement center contains coin-operated toys and games, Nina. What's a penny arcade? That is right, penny arcade, go. Actors in their roles for a hundred. The answer is, there is the Daily Double. All right, now, Nina, let me give a rundown of the scores. We have Bill in the lead with 350, then comes Clarence, our champion, with 300. You have $175. Now, you can wager all of that 175 or any portion of it. What are you going to do? I'll wager a hundred dollars. One hundred dollars, okay. You'll still be in third place, right or wrong, with... The best of luck to you, actors in their roles, the category. The answer is, he played eight roles in Kind Hearts and Coronets. Who's Alec Guinness? Right, Sir Alec Guinness. Well done. Okay. You have $275. You tighten up the game. Good bit. And you go, Nina. Actors in their roles for 125 The answer is, his macabre films include The Raven, Tales of Terror, Theater of Blood. Uh, Clarence? Uh, who is, uh... <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. All right, Bill. Who is Vincent Price? That's right. How aggravating when it's at your tip of the tongue and it doesn't come out. All right, Bill, you are correct. You're in the lead and you select. Uh, pennies for 50, please. The answer is, according to Gilbert and Sullivan, if you're in for a penny, you're in for this, Bill. Um, you're in for the whole game. No, I'm know. sorry. All right, Nina. What's in for a pound? In what? for a pound is right. Yes, go. Uh, pennies for 75. The answer is, the title of this Bing Crosby movie means an unexpected benefit, Clarence. Um, what is... Remember the category. Oh, sorry. Time and his bill. What is pennies from heaven? Right. Pennies from heaven. Oh, oh about a minute remains in jeopardy. And bill, you select. You have to believe. Go. Um, uh, four-letter words for 75. The please. answer is the objective case of they, bill. What is, um... Uh, no time. I'm sorry. Nina. 
What is them? Them, right. Go again. Um, four-letter words for a hundred. The answer is the Greek prefix meaning a thousand, Clarence. What is meal? Uh, no, I'm sorry. And it's Bill. What is Miller? No, sorry. Nina, any idea? No? Kilo, kilo. Try it again, please, Nina. Um, starts with cab for a hundred. The answer is he co-starred in the TV series Family Affair and Checkmate, Clarence. Uh, who is Cab Calloway? No, sorry, Bill. Who is Sebastian Cabot? That's right, a fine gentleman and actor, Sebastian Cabot. Go. Uh, jacks of all trades for 75, please. The answer is he played the title role in Charlie Chaplin's film, The Kid. Clarence. Uh, who is Jack Oakey? No, sorry, Bill. Who is Jackie Cooper? Jack, no, wrong. And it's Nina. Who's Jackie Coogan? Jackie Coogan is right, yes. So oh, there it is, Don Sands, Ron Jeopardy, and Nina and Bill, you are the high scorers, and of course you're both going to play Double Jeopardy. Clarence, I'm awfully sorry to say goodbye to you, but nevertheless you'll receive some parting gifts, and your grand total in winnings of $6,250. Thank you so much. Well, me and Bill, you'll go on play Double Jeopardy where everything doubles right after this pause. And my friends, we ask you to watch along with us. Thank you. Extra value is what you get when you buy Coronet. For my big family, I buy Coronet paper products. Coronet towels give me more sheets than other national brands. Coronet bath tissues come in a money-saving eight-pack. And pretty Coronet prints in a four-pack. And coronet facial tissues and napkins give me more value than other national brands. So buy the family money savers from Georgia Pacific. Extra value is what you get when you buy coronet. Now that you've had a drink, oh, what a time to think. Wow, I could have had a V8. Snacking the whole day through, oh, what that does to you. Wow, I could have had a V8. V8 cocktail vegetable juice is a great tasting, healthful blend that's naturally low in calories, only 35 a 6 ounce serving. But remember, the time to think of having a V8 is before you've had something else. Wow, I could have had a V8. Pass the sugar, Gladys. Well, you ought to take better care of yourself and use a sugar substitute instead. I don't like sugar substitutes. You'll like sugar, twin. It looks like sugar, measures spoon for spoon just like sugar, and it tastes like sugar. I don't believe it. Believe it. It's on your cereal. Lettuce. Ralph. Pass the sugar twin. Sugar twin. So much like sugar, it could fool you. The dog. The telephone. The children. The doorbell. Oh, God, take me away. Calgon Baths take you away from it all to a world where lush fragrances and soft, silky waters caress your body, relax your mind. It's another world in a Calgon Bath. Fragrant Calgon Baths. Lose yourself in luxury. Welcome back to Jeopardy! Once again, here's the host of Jeopardy, Art Fleming! Thank you, thank you, John Harlan, and thank you, my friends. This is Double Jeopardy, where everything is double. The monies are double. There are two daily doubles hidden somewhere on the board, and the two of you are facing each other in head-to-head -head competition. So, let's play Double Jeopardy! Now, players and viewers, the categories are labor, initials, disasters, world capitals, novels, and European history. When you hear this sound, it means the game will be over and the winner will go on to face that Super Jeopardy bonus board. We have a good game going here. Nina, 475 is in the lead. Bill, you are low with 350. So, as always, a low score starts double Jeopardy. Please select. Good luck to you both. World Capitals for 50, please. The answer is Valparaiso serves as a port for this Chilean capital bill. Uh, what is the function? No, I'm sorry. All right, Nina, any idea? Let's try Santiago. Santiago. And everybody says, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I know. Go ahead, Bill. Uh, world Capitals for 100. Please. I didn't have a sheet in front of me. You wouldn't find me in the studio. The answer is, this city is the headquarters of NATO and the Common Market Bill. What is Brussels? That's right, Belgium. So, world Capitals for 150, please. The answer is, this capital includes the Forbidden City and the Temple of Heaven Bill. Uh, what is Lhasa? No, sorry. Nina, any idea? All right, Nina. What is Peking? That's right, Peking, Red China. Try it again. Uh, novels for 50. A switch in category. The answer is, she knitted a death list of hated aristocrats in Tale of Two Cities, Bill. 
Who is Madame Lafarge? Dufarge? All right, fine. The judges accept that. Madame Dufarge is right. Yes, you corrected that. Uh, European history for 50, please. The answer is... In 885, these Scandinavian warriors began a two-year siege of Paris, Bill. Who are the Vikings? Vikings, correct, sir. European history for 100, please. The answer is, his invasions of the British Isles began in 55 B.C., Bill. Who was, uh, Caesar? That's right, Big Julius Caesar, go. European history uh, for 150, please. The answer is, in 1914, he organized the fascist movement, Bill. Who was Mussolini? Right, Benito Mussolini, go. Uh, novels for 100, please. 25 dollars separate the players. The answer is... He created Sancho Panza and Don Quixote, Nina. Who is Cervantes? Right, Miguel de Cervantes, go. Uh, novels for 150. The answer is... There it is, the first of three daily doubles. All right, we have a good tight game up to this point. We have Bill with 600. Nina, you have $725 as a plain daily double. You can wager all of it, all part of it. What are you going to do? $225. $225, okay. If you are correct, you'll have $950. The best of luck to you with novels, the category. The answer is, this is George Eliot's story of a miser and a little girl. What is Mill on the Floss? No, it was Silas Marner. Silas Marner. All right. You still have a respectable total. $100 weight in the lead held by Bill, but you select, Nina. Novels for 200 The answer is... This James Joyce novel details a walk through Dublin, Bill. What is Ulysses? Right, Ulysses, good. You're still in the lead. Uh, disasters for 50, please. First time and the answer is, this catastrophe was blamed on Mrs. O'Leary's cow, Bill. What is the Chicago fire? Chicago fire, right, go again. Disasters for 100, please. The answer is, the Carpathia picked up 700 of its survivors, Bill. Uh, the Titanic? Question, please. What is the Titanic? That is right. We're going to rest now. We have Nina with 500 and Bill with $950. And we'll all be back with more Double Jeopardy right after this word. Won't you watch with us? And again, we thank you. Alka-Seltzer Plus Cold Medicine takes on the Minneapolis Cold. A Minneapolis Cold is rotten, but I feel like I'm going to die. I get a stuffed up head, I get headaches, I can't breathe. Alka-Seltzer Plus Cold Medicine. Fast relief for the Minneapolis cold. Fast relief for you. Cleared the eyes, the nose, and the, and the congestion. But I would always go back to Alka-Seltzer Plus. It works so fast. Well, I think it works, period. A shower makes me feel clean. And I also want to feel fresh and feminine. So I use Norfarm's Feminine Deodorants. You can't buy a more effective feminine deodorant. They're long-lasting and gentle enough to use any day of the month. I guess that's why Norforms are the feminine deodorants millions of women choose. Try Norforms and feel fresh and feminine for hours. Hi, Norforms. You can't buy a more effective feminine deodorant. Well, my friends, welcome back to Double Jeopardy. Players, we are looking for a champion to play that Super Jeopardy bonus board. We have Nina with 500 again, Bill with 950. Bill, it is up to you as the last correct question. Both of you keep in mind that there's a daily double still up on that board. All right, Bill? Uh, I'd like labor for 50, please. The answer is, it was down to 5.8% in October of 1978, Nina. What's the prime interest rate? No, sorry. Bill, any idea, Bill? What is the unemployment rate? That's it, the unemployment rate, right. I wish you were right, though, and you know, okay. that's not the case. Go ahead. Labor for 100, please. The answer is the term for an unsanctioned labor strike, Bill. What is a wildcat strike? Right, wildcat it is. Go again. Labor for 150, please. The answer is the name given to tenant farmers who pay the landowner a portion of their harvest, Bill. Uh, who are sharecroppers? Sharecroppers, correct, yes. Uh, initials for 50, please. The answer is MPG to a motorist, Bill. What is miles per gallon? That's right again, going. Initials for 100, please. The answer is EPA to an ecologist, and it's Nina. What is the Environmental Protection Agency? Right again, going. Uh, disasters for 150. The answer is 34 seconds of horror in Lakehurst, New Jersey on May 6th, 1937, Nina. What's the burning of the Hindenburg? That is right, I saw that go. Uh, disasters for 200. The answer is, on May 31st, 1889, a wall of water swept down on this Pennsylvania town, Bill. What is Jamestown? No, sorry. Nina, any idea? The Johnstown. Johnstown flood. Try it again, please, Nina. Uh, initials for 150. The answer is, this French designer's clothes are initialed YSL, Nina. 
Who is Yves Saint Laurent? That is right. Go ahead. Initials for 200. The answer is BBL is the abbreviation for this term. A barrel. What is a barrel? That's it. Bottom it remains in double jeopardy. Nina? Uh, initials for 250. Complete the category. The answer is in chemistry, it's the two letter symbol meaning degree of acidity. Nina? What is pH? pH is right. Good for you. All right. 1100 odds. We have a tie with Nina. You select quickly. Uh, novels for 250. The answer is. It's T.H. White's conclusion to the once and future king. The Book of Merlin. What is the Book of Merlin, Nina? Um, labor for 200. The answer is... There it is, the Daily Double. All right, with seconds remaining, Double Jeopardy, we're looking for a champion. We have a tie. Nina and Bill, $1,100. And what is your wager to be? All of it or part of it? $200. $200, the best of luck to you. With labor, the category, the answer is... The coal miner who became president of the United Mine Workers in 1920 and resigned in 1960. Who is Lewis? That's right, John L. Lewis, right. Well, thank you. Great question, 1,300 dollars Add Nina, go. Uh, world Capitals for 200. The answer is the Cosbah is found in this North African city bill. What is uh, Tangiers? No, sorry. Nina, any idea? Algiers, Algiers. Nina, try it. Oh, there it is. The bomb. Double jeopardy is over. And Nina with a total of $1,300. You are the champion. Bill, I'm awfully sorry you, you have to leave us, but you have nevertheless won $900, and you will receive some parting gifts from us. Thank you so very much. Now, Nina, as a new champion winning $1,300 so far, the first trip to the board is always worth $5,000. Congratulations again. And we'll all be back to watch Nina as she faces that Super Jeopardy bonus board right after this word. Please watch. Carpet Fresh brings a smile to some very fussy noses. Your nosy neighbors. Your sister-in-law with her nose in the air. Even the kid with a nose for news. Because Carpet Fresh, the rug and room deodorizer, sniffs out odors that live in your carpet and do a job on your nose. Just sprinkle, wait a few minutes, and vacuum. Use it every time you vacuum and bring a smile to the fussiest <laughs> noses in the house. Carpet Fresh from Airwork. I am jealous of babies. Everything in their world is soft, gentle. But now I've got something from Baby's World. Baby oil in a soap. It's called Gentle Touch. Which is the perfect touch of baby oil. To baby my body. My skin feels baby soft. Smooth. And so clean. Gentle fragrance, too. Your soap with baby oil. Gentle Touch. It babies your skin. Try Gentle Touch lotion with baby oil, too. There's a murder in the glamorous world of the record industry, and Sonny Bono plays an unwilling detective. Murder in Music City, right after Grandpa, tonight on NBC. Well, Lena, you are facing the Super Jeopardy bonus board for the very first time, so this is your chance to win $5,000. Now, as you know, each correct question lights up a square and earns you $100. However, you light up five squares in a row, up or down, across, or diagonally, and you will win $5,000. Now, Nina, the categories of business and industry, as you can see, potent potables, opera, buildings, and the Roaring Twenties. Remember, your response must be in the form of a question, and remember the Jeopardy. An incorrect question or a pass is a strike. Three strikes, and you are out. All right? So now, for $5,000, get set to pick a category and a number. Good luck, and go. Opera number one. The answer is, Fidelio was his only opera. Who is Beethoven? That is correct. Opera number two. The answer is, in July 1979, she will become director of the New York City Opera Company. Who's Beverly Sills? Right again. Opera number three. The answer is, the language in which the opera Carmen was originally written. What is French? Correct again, three in a row. Opera number four. The answer is, opera text from the Italian for little book. What is a libretto? Libretto is right four in a row. If you come up with this one, you will get $5,000. Good luck, go. Opera number five. The answer is Italian name for Mozart's comic opera, So Do They All. What is Cosi Fantuti? That is right for $5,000. Good luck you. Sandy Duncan, 
for wheat thins. When I was uh, growing up in Texas, the Visco products were all over our house. You know, we had crackers and cookies and everything. So it's sort of funny that I would grow up to represent one of their products. I like wheat thins with cheese and fruit, but I think my favorite way of eating wheat thins is just right out of the box. One after the other. <laughs> wheat thins, the light little cracker with the big wheat taste, baked only by Nabisco. Last night, I didn't feel so good, but Mommy took care of me. When Annie gets a fever, I take special care of her. I even give her the same medicine more pediatricians give their own kids, children's Tylenol. Aspirin-free children's Tylenol. Drops for infants, liquid, and chewable tablets for older kids. This morning, Annie feels a lot better. Thanks, Mommy. Children's Tylenol. It's the one more pediatricians give their own children. Well, Nina, you won $6,300 in your very first appearance of defeating a fine champion in his third try. But nevertheless, you were amazing with that one category, all five right, nothing wrong. You came up with a difficult one, Cosi Fantuti. How much do you know so much about opera? I don't really know that much, but my father is a great fan of opera, and every time I go home, that's all he listens to in Well, he'll be mighty, mighty proud of you. Congratulations again. You've done beautifully, but even more important, you know, next time, when you come back, you'll be facing two new challengers, and if you win again, we're going to add $2,500 to the bonus, so you'll be going for an additional $7,500. Congratulations again. I know you're all upset and nervous, but that's part of it. we have to go. See you next time, my friends. Bye now. If you would like to be a contestant on Jeopardy, please write to Jeopardy, 1541 North Vine Street, Hollywood, California, 90028. Please include your telephone number. If you'd like tickets to Jeopardy, please write to Jeopardy, NBC, 3000 West Alameda Avenue, Burbank, California, 91523. This week, a member of our studio audience will receive the World Book Encyclopedia two-volume dictionary, containing 2,400 pages, 3,000 illustrations, and more than 225,000 entries. Some of our contestants will receive Bedsack, the new idea in bed covering. Provides luxury upholstery for your old mattresses, box springs, and protection for new, furnished by Bedsack. Or Rice Aroni, the big flavor side dish. It's a quick, so easy, the one you saute and sip with the flavor perfection. Rice Aroni, the San Francisco treat. Or Jolly Time, the popcorn with extraordinary taste the whole family loves. Pop tender, crispy, delicious. Jolly Time popcorn. Or all the spring back carpet is featuring Boris Zell backing with unique attached urethane padding that's right for any room in your home. Or Swanson pot pies, tender meat, garden vegetables, and just the right amount of gravy. All in a flaky crust. Swanson, the quality pot pie. Or light lunch, a hot new lunch idea from Lipton that you make in a mug. Hearty, delicious, satisfying light lunch. Tonight, see Murder in Music City starring Sonny Bono. A honeymooning couple become national private eyes for that deadly trail of blackmail and murder. Stay tuned now as guest stars Tony Randall and Marsha Wallace play Password Plus next. Then, Peter Marshall welcomes Joan Rivers, Foster Brooks, and Vicki Carr to the Hollywood Square, all on NBC. John Harlan speaking. Jeopardy is a Burr Griffin production.